Welcome back with the tarot card of the day, starting with the YouTube community. Seven of Pentacles. Assessment, Evaluation, Perseverance, Reflection, Investment. Measuring progress toward, uh, toward your goal. Looking at result. Yep, looking at results with an eye toward improving performance. Asking how happy I, am I? Coming up with ideas for improving your health or prosperity. Deciding it's time for a change. Expressing an honest opinion. You are putting in time and energy. Now for longer term, sustainable rewards. You are cultivating and manifesting ideas and goals. Your long-term vision will come to fruition. So, basically, um, well, first off, don't be afraid to speak your mind. If people get offended, that's, that's their uh, derogative. That's not on you. That's on them. Okay? Second of all, um, yeah, you're going through your goals. You, you're re-evaluating on how to achieve them, which is not a bad idea to do. Um, look, looking at your goals at a different angle, maybe doing a shift in a diet, um, for better results and stuff like that. So, yeah, just keep, keep chugging forward. You may have to come at it at a different angle, but you're going to continue on. Next for Pittsburgh, Page of Swords, Fresh Ideas, Apprentice, Curiosity, Information, Messages. Pursuing a course of study. This is a college town, so there's that. Asking good questions. Investing time in study and practice. Doing research. Making a habit of learning new things. Starting an investigation. Outlining what you need to know. Finding a, finding a mentor or teacher. A thirst for knowledge may lead to interesting discoveries. And you are curious, quick-witted, and inspired. You are speaking out and ready to engage in passionate debates. Your open and honest communications allows you to share your ideas and messages with others and be heard. Again, this is a college town, so maybe you're trying to see about applying to that college for some courses. Um, maybe attending some college events um, that's free to public and stuff like that. Who knows? But point is, you're looking at finding new knowledge, looking at something new, um, learning a new new skill because the job you're in is probably waning down or if you have a feeling you're going to get get the boot, um, or it's a toxic environment and you're just on the verge of being like, fuck it, I'm out. Um, but nonetheless, you're going to be looking for like a role model, teacher, mentor to look up to, learn from, and maybe outshine them. Who knows? So there's that. And then finally, for America, the tower. Oh, God. De demolition, upheaval, sudden change, disaster, destruction, release, breaking out of old, confining habits and mindsets. Clearing the way for new growth, dispelling the influence of an inflated ego. Getting back to basics, stripping away harmful illusions, receiving sudden insight. A new unforeseen change is coming and your world may come crashing down around you. This will allow new opportunities to emerge. Remember, destruction is necessary for creation. Now, this might be heading towards the Republican Party because dispelling the influence of an inflated ego. That sounds like the Republicans turning on Trump. So... But yeah, and this is like, yeah, and their world is crashing down because of the results of the midterms, despite getting the house. But, again, they're doing a lot. They're getting a lot um, with that. Uh, this is, we're definitely calling them out on that, but hey. <coughs> but this could also be aimed towards the Democrats as well, because Republicans have subpoena power. And we all know who's going to really be using that. We talk about MGT and Mile High MGT. By the way, Mile High MGT is lower is at Lauren Bobart. Um, at least we do not have Arctic MGT, a.k.a. Sarah Palin. 
Um, although I wouldn't mind that. That'd be interesting. Um, have that trio in con in Congress. It, it would have been interesting. Like, Mr. Beast replying to Trump getting reinstated with the popcorn emoji. Interesting. Because you definitely don't want popcorn. And same could be said for the trio of crazies on the left. Um, Pelosi, AOC, and... I don't know the third. But, I'm sure that... Yeah, I'm not really paying attention too much, but still. Both sides are going to heavily, heavily have a upheaval happening. There's going to be a lot happening. And in fact, this will be thumbnail. So, with that, that does seem to be a fright now. Stay safe out there. See you in the next video. Bye.